please be seated. Le Président. Oui, vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. We would like once again to give the floor to the prosecution to continue Nous putting questions to this witness. Monsieur you may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Okay, well, merci. Monsieur le Président. Let me uh, follow up, um, Mr. Lev, um, with the uh, issue that had been raised uh, just before the break. Um, can you clarify for us, um, you indicated that you later learned about certain instruments that had been used uh, to kill these people. Did someone tell you that clubs, bamboo and cart axles had been used? And if so, who, who was it that told you that? Et qui vous l'a dit? Réponse. They did not uh, tell me that. Ce n'est pas ce que l'on m'a dit. But to me, there were no other tools that they could use to kill people besides these tools. À mon avis, il n'existait pas d'autres instruments and qui auraient pu servir. Did you see outils. any of these tools at the execution site? Question. Did you see outils? any clubs or cart axles or bamboo? at the execution site. Des bambous ou des bâtons, des gourdins au site d'exécution. No, I Réponse. did not. Non. I'd like to read uh, and follow up on another uh, statement uh, in your interview, this is D-125-68 at Khmer 00201485, English 00274647, and French 00338363. Um, you stated at this part of your interview as follows, quote, Voici ce que vous avez dit. The determined destinations were several, all of which were located near the execution site. When people got there, they were divided into smaller groups of ten people. Then they were told that they would be brought to see Ankar. However, they had to be blindfolded and their hands had to be tied behind their back. Continuing with one question later in your interview. Question, please describe the killing process. Answer, when people to be killed arrived at the execution site, executioners were already waiting there. Pits were already dug beforehand. Executioners told people to sit at the pits and listen to the announcement of Ankar, end of quote. You indicated in the statement that evacuees were being were told that they were being brought to see Ankar. Uh, when is it that they were told that and Quand who told ça? them that Et they were being brought to see Ankar? Les voir Ankar? Only the village chief who told them that they were to go and meet Ankar. Ankar. So to clarify, this is something the village chief uh, told the group of 20 people uh, when you were leaving uh, Trak Sankei village, is that right? Trak Sankei, c'est bien cela. Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Now, you also uh, indicate Question. in the statement that I just read Vous avez aussi that dans ce que je viens when de lire. the people were taken away dans ce que je viens de lire. Uh, for execution, 
they were told to sit at the pits and to listen to the announcement of Ankar. My question to you is, were you able to hear what took place after this group of 10 people who were tied up were taken away? Were you able to hear what happened to them? I was at a quite uh, distance from them, about 30 meters. I heard it in a low voice, the countdown to group 1 through 3, and then I walked away and I did not know what happened next. In the, in the same statement uh, that I just read, Question. you also made a reference to uh, grave pits de uh, that had been dug beforehand. Déjà été uh, how did you know that pits had been dug beforehand? Witness, I decline to respond to this question. President, duty counsel, please take the floor. La parole est à l'avocat du témoin. Duty counsel, Mr. President, Jonas. Monsieur le Président. The, my client already responded that he wished to decline to respond to this question. Il de répondre à la question. President, le président. witness, Monsieur le témoin. The, the last question is not the kind of question that question qui vient de vous être, could vient de vous être posée, incriminate you. The question, question is why you learned of that information, but you already responded to this question. And of course, the chamber already advised you of your obligation that you must respond to all the questions put to you. And duty counsel, please also advise that your clients to do so. And you need to discuss with your clients if you think the, the question could incriminate your client. Witness. Le témoin. I replied that I did not know because I myself did not je ne see those pits. Parce que je n'ai pas vu ces fosses. Uh, thank you for clarifying Question. that, uh, Mr. Witness. Merci pour cette précision. Um, how long? Uh, how long were you at the execution site? Combien de temps before you returned to Truk Sankei village? Avant de retourner au village de Truk Sankei. I didn't stay long. Réponse. Je ne suis pas resté longtemps. I stayed for about 15 minutes and then I had to minutes. return. Après quoi, je me suis dépêché de rentrer. Now you told us that Question. in the group of 20 people that the village chief uh, and you brought to the execution site that you saw 10 of them tied up and taken away, the other 10 were not tied. Vous avez dit que uh, did any of the other 10 emmenés, mais pas uh, return with you when you went back to que your village? Quand vous êtes à votre village? Those who were not tied up did not return. Ceux qui n'ont pas été ligotés ne sont they pas were rentrés. All taken. Ils ont tous été emmenés. And of those ten, how, how many were young children? Parmi ces dix personnes, combien étaient de petits enfants?
There were about five to six uh, children. Il y avait cinq ou six enfants. Are you Question. able to uh, provide an estimate to the court of the total number of people who were killed at that execution site? Au total, combien de personnes environ ont été tuées sur ce site d'exécution? Êtes-vous en mesure de donner des indications? À ce sujet. In total, réponse. There could be six, total, 70 to 80 people who were killed. 70 ou 80 personnes ont dû Et être tuées. President, Defense Council, Jimmy Le président, la parole est à la défense. Thank you, Mr. President. La défense. Could you please instruct the witness again répéter au témoin qu'il ne doit it or pas émettre d'hypothèse. Soit il le sait, soit il ne sait pas. Been, il doit uh, s'abstenir de donner une réponse du type 70 ou 80 personnes ont dû être tuées. Mr. President, if I can follow up and find the basis for the witnesses' information, j'aimerais uh, obtenir les fondements des informations I think we'll be in a much better position. Ce qui uh, counsels objections again are somewhat premature. The witness has been instructed. If I may proceed, I will clarify with the witness um, what information he has. J'aimerais pouvoir déterminer quelles sont les informations en possession du témoin. Mr. Witness, um, in your Monsieur interview, témoin, you describe uh, an exhumation of the graves uh, at the site that was conducted after January 1979. Can you tell us about what information you have regarding the exhumation or digging up of the graves in the area of this execution site that took place uh, after January 1979? I, while I walked my dog, I saw en promenant mon a chien, pit that was dark uh, as people were looking for gold. Fosse. It was in the vicinity of a prayer to and de I saw the skeleton remains scattered uh, everywhere there. Éparpillés. It was to the west of the Dambray Srot prison and that area Dambray was Srot. called Preitoteng. C'est un endroit qui s'appelait Preitoteng. Uh, to clarify, Question. is this the same location uh, where the group of 20 people uh, where you brought the group of 20 people that you just described to us, or was this a different location? Parler, ou bien était un autre endroit? The location Réponse. where I took the people through, I did not see the pits uh, there at the time, but only around 1981 or 82, Mais while I was walking my dog, I saw the pits mon chien, there, ai vu une fosse. and uh, they dug the pits in order to look for gold, and uh, there were leur. skeleton remains there. Il y avait des ossements. Uh, let me read to you uh, from your interview and then follow up on that. Uh, this is D125 slash 68. D125 slash 68 at Khmer 0020-1484 English 0027464646 and French 0033-8364. Your interview reads uh, as follows, quote, 
uh, after 1979, people came to exhume the graves over there in order to seek gold and valuable things. Question, please kindly describe the mass grave exhumation. Answer, at that time, people exhumed about 20 to 30 graves in which there were about 700 to 800 dead bodies in total. Some graves have not been exhumed yet, so the total number of people who were killed there remains unknown. My question to you is, um, you told OCIJ or provided an estimate of 700 to 800 dead bodies um, that were at these mass graves. Can you tell us how you came up with that number? What was the basis of that information? I saw the pit Réponse. and in each pit vu there were between 20 to 30 il y avait skulls entre 20 et 30 and crânes. there were also several pits which had not been il y avait dug aussi out. Plusieurs fosses qui pas été just to be sure I understand, you're saying that you saw approximately 20 to 30 scars in each grave pit that had been dug up, Entre and can you tell us how many total number of graves that you saw at the site? Fosse, au total, combien de fosses avez-vous vu? I saw about uh, Réponse. 20 pits. J'ai vu une vingtaine de fosses environ. Uh, thank you for that information. Accusation. Merci Mr. pour Lev cette Lam. information. Monsieur, mettez-moi. Let me turn to a few different uh, subject areas before I end my examination. Je avant de conclure. Um, the person uh, that you have identified as the uh, uh, as a chief of the Sfai Chuk commune, Nan. De la commune de uh, do you know whether Nan was a relative of Nguyen Chia? Si cette personne appartenait à la famille de Nguyen Chia? Do not know whether Nan was Je ne sais pas si Nan lui était apparenté. Nan venait d'un autre village. Did you know whether Nunchea had relatives who si lived Nunchea in Pim avait commune? Avait la famille dans la commune de Pim? No, I don't. Réponse: Non. Je ne sais pas. I want to. Uh, ask you now Question. just a few questions relating uh, to some uh, other statements that have been provided by uh, witnesses regarding Concernant executions les déclarations faites par in Kampong Tralak district. Dans le district de uh, with your leave, Tralak Mr. President, le I'd like to si vous uh, provide uh, two uh, interviews uh, to the witness uh, document audition. D. 125 D-125-93, D-125-93, and D-233-40, D-233-40. I will not name, uh, uh, read the names of these not to uh, state the names of these witnesses. With your leave, I'd like to provide le nom de ces uh, these statements to the witness at this time. Ces aux témoins, de la chambre. 
President, le yes, président, you may do so. Je vous en prie, Court officer, uh, could you deliver the documents from the prosecution for the witness examination? And the witness, you are started not to reveal témoin, the name of the people in this document. Des personnes citées dans ces documents. My first question for you, Mr. Lev Lam, and perhaps your, your counsel can assist question, you with this. If you could look at the names of the two people who gave these interviews without saying those names, uh, can you tell us whether you know uh, either of these people? I do not know Réponse. any of the true people named on these true documents. Des personnes de le nom dont le nom apparaît uh, Mr. Witness, in Question. D-125-93 and uh, the reference page is Khmer 0021-2084-84. English 00275128-29 and French 00293909-0923. Through 11. Um, this witness uh, describes um, how two female cadres from Spy Chuk commune, Ye Nan, the Ye same person you Nan have talked about, and another parlé, female cadre named Ye Kun, how these two Kun cadres held a meeting at the Tamai Khmer village cooperative and conveyed, quote, orders of the upper level, pursuant to which 30 families of 17 April people or Londol soldiers were taken away and killed at a site north of Tamai Khmer village named Prey Srey Val. Prey Srey Val. The second statement I provided to you, D-232-40, is the statement of a group leader from Tamai Khmer village who also confirms the executions of newly evacuated people at the same location, Prey Sreval. My question to you is, um, do you know the sites that are indicated here, uh, Tamai Khmer village ici, and a place Tumai called Prey Sreval. Uh, do you know these sites Prey and did Srey you hear Val. any information regarding executions that took place at this location? Au sujet No, I don't. Réponse. Non. But I know my my village. Je connais cependant I do not know Preisrayval. Par contre, que je ne connais but pas. But I know another Val. one, but not this one. What is the other one that you know? J'en connais un autre, mais pas celui-ci. Question. Ma Quel est l'autre que vous connaissez? I know another uh, Muslim uh, village, Je a Cham village, it was known as uh, Svai Paen. Un autre village Cham, Svai Paen. 
Um, Mr. President, I'd like to Question. provide uh, two Monsieur more President, uh, statements to the witness. These ones, D. 232 slash 42, D232 slash 42, and D232 slash 63. Uh, with your leave, if I may present these documents to the witness. J'attends votre autorisation. Le yes, you may do so. Could I please, uh, could you deliver the documents from the prosecutor for the witness examination? And Mr. Witness, before before you start looking at those documents, um, in regards to the uh, location of the prior ones, Tamai Khmer Village, uh, is, was Tamai Khmer Village, was it in Sphai Chuk commune or some other commune? Dans la commune de ou dans une autre? Tmai Khmer village, le village de Tmai is Khmer located in Swaichuk commune. Dans la commune de that is uh, south of uh, Swaichuk commune. C'est le sud because de la Swai commune Chuk de Swaichuk commune Chuk. is divided into two: the north of Swaichuk and the south of Swaichuk. Nord et sud. Uh, thank you. Now, if you could look at the two. Merci. Uh, documents that were just provided to you, uh, and without, again, without reading the names of these two witnesses, can you tell me whether you know any, either of these two individuals? No, I do not know any of them. Réponse. No, je ne connais aucun d'eux. In uh, these two statements, uh, Mr. Witness, uh, these individuals who were from Tebang Kepus, and apologize if my pronunciation isn't, isn't good, uh, these witnesses describe the arrival of 17 April evacuees from Phnom Penh, including Wa Nol officials and soldiers, who were held at the Tibeng Kapu Pagoda and then taken away for execution at three sites that they identify. And if you look at answer six in interview D. 232-42, there are three execution sites that were identified by this witness. One, uh, Kok Ronim, second one, Trapyang Andon, and the third one, Trapyang Klung. Uh, my question to you is, uh, are you familiar with any of these sites, and during the 1975 period, did you hear of executions at these locations? No, I do not. No. I only know the one. To Near my village, I did not know about other places at other villages. Près de mon village, je ne connais pas les endroits. Was there a commune in Kampon Tralak Lu district? Dans le district de Kampon Tralak Lu, y avait-il une commune qui s'appelait Tabang Kapu? Yes, there was a Tabang Kapu. And there was also a pagoda by the name of Tabaikpo. And where was this commune in relation to Sfai Chuk commune? Et où était cette commune par rapport à celle de Sfai Chuk? The 
bank for commutes is at a far distance from the Swachuk commune. It was about two kilometers away and it was on the other side of the railway track. And the distance between the two is about two kilometers. I thank you, Mr. Witness. The last uh, area. Uh, that I want to ask you about last subject thème. matter. In uh, a document that is before this chamber, E3 slash 135, uh, this is the June 1977 issue of a publication called Revolutionary Flag. Uh, it is announced in this document that Kampon Trollop Lu district, le district de had been selected by the Central Committee par le as Central one of the three model districts in the country for 1976 pour la and awarded uh, the honorary red flag. My question to you is, honorific. do you remember whether this was something that was announced vous to all people si uh, in the district? That Kampon Tralak Lu had been recognized as a model district and awarded the honorary red flag for 1976. I was not uh, quite sure. Je n'étais pas About bien that. certain de cela. My last question, question. is uh, whether question. Uh, at any time between April Entre 1975 avril and January 1979, whether you were aware of any uh, Khmer Rouge leaders coming to visit your district? visiter votre district. No, I Réponse. was not aware of that. Non. Je n'ai rien su de tel. L'accusation parle sans micro. I'm sorry. Yeah, my question, my colleague, uh, national colleague, has a few Mon questions for you, and then we will uh, turn the floor to the civil parties. Nous Thank you for your time. À la Merci. Le King, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Bidner, I only have a few questions as supplementary to what my colleague asked you. This morning you stated before this court that you joined a meeting chaired by Throne and Nan at the initial unit office in au bureau Thro Song de l'unité de la milice village, au village de Trang Sankey. Made an Vous avez entendu Throne dire de repérer les anciens soldats de l'Omnol évacués My to you pour is, les tuer. How did you Voici know ma question. That the Comment avez-vous appris ces instructions de Throne Est-ce que Throne a a émis ses instructions lui-même ou bien les tenait-il de l'échelon supérieur Réponse. J'ai entendu dire cela alors que j'étais à proximité. J'ai entendu sa voix, il parlait de record. cela et c'est ce que j'ai dit durant mon audition. Thank you. Question. Ma question, en fait, est que Besides en that, réalité, ma did you know by suivante. any other means, for example, cela, that you were told that instruction vous dit was ordered from another level to throw, y avait des or you did not know about that? Venant d'ailleurs et communiqué à Throne, l'avez-vous appris Answer. par un autre billet no, également? C'était cela ma question. That. Réponse: Non. 
Je ne savais rien de tel. Because I did not see any other upper, upper echelon uh, coming to tell him. Je I only vu personne the decision de made by Sron. Venir lui dire cela. J'ai entendu Sron annoncer cette décision. Question. You also Question. testified before this court that Sron was the district committee. Était le comité de district. Did you know who were the sector or the zone committees? Qui étaient les comités de zone et de secteur? Answer. I only Réponse. heard the names, but I never saw them. J'ai juste entendu leurs noms, mais je ne les ai jamais vus. J'ai entendu parler du comité de secteur, which was about the district committee, and the sector committee was Tassarun. Qui était au-dessus du comité de district? Tassarun. I never met him in person. Mais je ne l'ai jamais rencontré en personne. Question. Question. Hormis Tassarun, connaissiez-vous d'autres gens level or above the au niveau du secteur level? ou au-dessus Par exemple, level? au niveau de la zone Answer. Réponse. As for the zone committee, I never heard about them. Je n'ai jamais entendu parler des membres du comité de zone. I never heard of any name of people who were at the zone level. Je n'ai entendu citer le nom d'aucun membre I only heard of Tassarun, du comité I stated, de la zone. J'ai entendu parler seulement de Tassarun, comme je l'ai dit, mais je ne l'ai jamais rencontré en personne. J'ai entendu dire qu'il était au niveau du secteur. Thank you. Question. Now, regarding the meetings in which you heard or you knew that Sron, Sron and Nan were vous avez appris que Sron et the Nan chairpersons, uh, can you tell the chamber please when did these meetings uh, take était place? Le did de they la réunion? take place before people evacuated to your area? À quel moment est-ce que la réunion a eu lieu Était-ce avant que des gens ne soient évacués vers votre région Réponse. Réponse. The meetings uh, were convened uh, after the 17th of April had les already arrived. Après, euh, les réunions ont eu lieu après le 17 avril. Question. Question. Thank you. Were you aware whether there were any meetings si y a eu des réunions? like um, evacuation management meeting the meeting prepared sur la façon uh, de gérer for receiving these people sur la façon de, les response Réponse. I don't know Je sais rien. question Question. thank you Merci. On another point, before the co-investigators and the document D-135-68, uh, you stated that people in Phnom Penh had been forced uh, to leave the city. Some had been forced to come to this area. Many of them end up being killed there. For reference, this document can be referred to document my ERN 00201484, English 00274646, French ERN 00338386. My question is, savoir. how did uh, you know people in Phnom Penh were forced to forcé leave the city, or how did you obtain such information? Obtenu ces Response. Réponse. I saw evacuees from Phnom Penh and from Kampung Chenang whether they had been forced to leave the cities or not. That's not to my knowledge. I just saw them coming to my area. Question. 
Thank you. This is going to be my final question. This morning, you testify that after receiving instructions from Sron, Nan had to take record of the biographies of the 17th of April people for the purpose of execution. And you said that immediately after the 17th of April 1975, you had uh, been working as a militiaman, uh, working with Nan. Now, can you tell the chamber, uh, the chamber what kind of tasks did Nan give you to treat the people, the evacuees? Sur la façon de traiter les évacués. Response. Réponse. Nan did not use me Nan. personally. I worked at the office uh, and I was engaged in climbing up the palm trees to collect the palm juice. That's all. Cobra Secure. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Uh, I have no further questions. And thank you, Mr. President and Your Honours. Um, we believe that our questioning can also help ascertain the truth. The President, uh, thank you. We would like to now hand over to counsel for the civil parties to put some questions to this witness. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Du côté des partis civils, c'est Maître Benillet qui va poser des questions. Merci, Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning to everyone in around the courtroom. Good morning, Mr. Leo Lam. My name is Benny Ye. I'm one of the international civil party lawyers, and I have just a few follow-up questions for you. I want to focus on the time period between the 17th April 1975 and June 1975. You said earlier this morning that in this time period, you saw evacuees from Kampong Chnang and from Phnom Penh arri arriving around one week after the 17th April 1975. Can you give us an estimate of how many evacuees you saw arriving at that time? Combien d'évacués, chiffre approximatif? Response. Réponse. I saw about 200 to 300 uh, families only because uh, other evacuees uh, could have been put uh, to live in other villages. So in my village, I saw about 200 to 300 families. Thank you. When you say families, um, how many people would make up a family? Uh, response. Réponse. To call a family, there must be at least about five to six people. Une famille est composée d'au moins cinq ou six personnes. Thank you. And these Question. evacuees who arrived, in what transportation did they arrive in? Par quel moyen de transport sont-ils arrivés? But response. Some Réponse. were seen pushing cats, some were walking, charrettes, some were marché. walking and carrying some belongings, pied, including mattresses, rather the, the, the mats and also the mats, kitchen utensils. Thank you. And can you please describe the condition of the people who arrived from the cities? Response. 
people had problem finding enough food to eat because there was not enough rice for them. Thank you. And did you observe any health problems or health issues among these evacuees? Response. Some were sick, but they were compelled to keep moving. Thank you. And when they arrived, was there any food or medicine provided to these evacuees? Response. Neither food nor medicine was provided uh, to these people. Although requests uh, were made because these people had no more food to eat, then a few cans of rice uh, would then be offered to them uh, just to uh, deal with this problem, but there was no medicine. Thank you. And how did the villagers, the base people, react to the arrival of so many evacuees? d'un si grand nombre d'évacués. Response. Réponse. The base people had sympathy Les, le peuple de base toward uh, these uh, newcomers and uh, sometimes uh, they had to share with them some rice and vegetable. Thank you, Mr. Leolam. Now I would like to come to a new topic. You said earlier that you were ordered to take people to the execution site, and among the group that you took were five to six young children. My question is, were the parents of these children also in the same group with you? Response. These uh, people were were in the same group when their parents uh, would bring them together. Thank you. And do I understand it correctly Merci. that these children were Et the children of former Lon Nol soldiers and former Lon Nol officials that wrote their biographies before it being taken away? Response. Réponse. After their biographies had Après. been obtained, they would uh, be taken away. Thank you. And apart from your group Question. that you Merci. took to the execution site, were there any other groups that were taken in this manner to the execution sites by other militia? But, uh, Response. Réponse. This place, à cet endroit, um, was there already, and then people had to be sent. À cet endroit, and some people were tricked to go to this location. Several families uh, were tricked uh, and the others uh, just followed. Can you please explain what you mean by being tricked?
response response i said they were tricked because they said that uh, the families dit, would be sent coup. to live in a new village but after a all it was not that pa- uh, they were not sent uh, to the Mais village uh, finally the they were sent for execution thank you and among these other families who were tricked and who Merci. were also sent to the execution site Merci. were there also Merci. children et parmi ces gens qui ont été dupés et envoyés dans ces exécutions il y avait aussi des enfants Response. Réponse. Yes, the whole family, including oui, entière, their children, y compris, les and enfants. no other outsiders uh, would be aucun, uh, brought uh, with them. The, the, the whole family would be brought uh, to the execution site. Il n'y avait pas de, de Thank you. And on the way, when you were taking this group, your group, to the execution site, can you describe the behavior of the people that you took there? Response. Some people were taking the lead in bringing uh, them to the site and people did not engage in any conversation until the time when they were brought to their place. Là, il n'y a pas eu de conversation jusqu'à ce qu'ils arrivent à destination. And did these Question. victims express any reaction when they were tied up um, and let away from your, your group? Response. Réponse. Uh, the the message was that uh, these people were instructed uh, to be Le tied up because they had to meet on car to get some food uh, without having them uh, being tied up then they would not be allowed to meet on car for some food that's why they are lo- they had to be tied up thank you i was rather asking about the reaction of the people who were tied up of the victims. Plutôt, quelle était la réaction des gens qui étaient attachés? Quelle était la réaction des victimes? Response. Réponse. These people did not um, protest or react uh, very much because uh, they had uh, to allow these people to tie them up. Il fallait permettre aux gens Thank de you. Now you said earlier on that Strawn classified the biographies in two categories, one of capitalist Lonnell soldiers and Lonnell officials une, who later on disappeared, and the other one in peasant category. My question is, what happened to the category or to the people who fell under the category Donc, of peasants? Qu'est-il arrivé à cette catégorie de gens ordinaires, les paysans? Response. Réponse. People who said they were peasants, they did farming, they then would be allowed to be in the same place and uh, when the Vietnamese arrived they were also allowed to go back to their hometown thank you now you said you saw 200 to 300 families arriving from Kampong Chnang and Phnom Penh how many of these families did you see going or being brought to the execution site
response. Réponse. I saw about a hundred families. J'ai environ une centaine de familles. Thank you, Mr. Witness. And my last Mr. question Merci, is how did you feel when you heard about the death of your uncle Comment at that time? Qu'avez-vous ressenti quand vous avez entendu parler de la mort de votre oncle à ce moment-là? Réponse. It was painful mentally to hear about his death. But I couldn't speak it out. La nouvelle de sa mort, mais je it ne was pas en more emotional feeling, but I couldn't say so. Euh, bouleversé, mais je ne pas en thank you, Mr. La Leolam. I'm sorry Merci for your loss, Merci and I thank you very Monsieur much Leolam. for je answering all my questions. I have no further questions, et and I wish you a safe journey back home. President. Thank you, Merci. Council, and thank you, Witness. Uh, it is now already Maître, appropriate si moment for the adjournment. The Nous Chamber will adjourn until 1.30 Court officer is now directed to assist the Vicier Witness audience. and his jury counsel during the adjournment and have them return to the courtroom before the next session resumes at 1.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. And security personnel are now directed to bring Mr. Kilson Pond down to his holding cell downstairs and have him return to the courtroom at 1.30 p.m. The court is adjourned.